Hello everyone, it's such a pleasure to have you guys back. My name is Lady Morales and I help women find their life beyond food and weight obsession. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about three ways to make peace with your larger body as you're transitioning into diet recovery and to complete eating disorder recovery. And I know weight gain and, and the transition and changes that's happening to your body it can be one of the most hardest things to do and I'm hoping in this video uh, to share with you some tips and tricks that helped me during my recovery and to make peace with being plus size and to never relapse or go back to the dieting world first step to making peace with your larger body is to understand that your body was not designed to make your life hell it is with you not against you and if your body was against you you would have never healed from sickness you would have never healed from wounds scars stomach aches migraines all of that because your body is always seeking homeostasis it really helped me to accept my larger body and to make peace with it is to write a list of the things that prove to me that my body is with me not against me and this is really taking an inventory of all the events in my life that I can think of past and present of why my body or proof that my body is with me and again this included recovering from surgery it included um, getting my period back after going so much time having irregular periods or not having a period at all it includes things like getting my hunger cues back after a lifetime of never knowing what hunger was or what hunger felt like because I was always restricting you can look at your life and take some inventory for yourself of the ways that you're your body has proven to you that it is with you not against you maybe you've given birth maybe you've recovered from a major surgery the more you focus on this and you focus on the gratitude list for your body you will begin to see some amazing amazing shifts begin um, to happen in relation to making peace with your body the second step to making peace with your larger body is to focus on the things that have nothing to do with weight and if you guys want to see a video on how to take the focus off the weight especially during your recovery of course leave a comment below subscribe to my channel and like this video so I can know that that's something you're definitely interested in so the beauty about this is as you are taking the focus off the weight you are building confidence and the self-esteem from the inside not from the outside and I know when I was at my thinnest and when I was working out and trying to lose weight I was never satisfied my self-esteem came from the weight scale how much weight I lost what food I ate and if I kept on track and it was a very sad world and the more that you take the focus off the weight and or at least you try your hardest you will begin to see that everything does take care of itself and you won't even care what your weight is if you've gained weight or if you've lost weight because your self-esteem and your confidence is coming from life from achieving things from creating goals that have nothing to do with weight loss or food the best action step for this is to write a list of things that you would be doing if you did not have an eating disorder and go ahead and try to do them and it could be big or it could be small but just try and i'm telling you it, it goes off momentum it builds and builds and builds it's not gonna you're not gonna be recovered overnight unfortunately don't strive for perfection but the more that you take the focus off the weight by finding things that you'd be doing if you were recovered and doing them you will begin to see some amazing results happen in your life it is your actions that determine your beliefs not your beliefs that determine your actions you'll hear me say that time and time again on this channel because it's fabulous and the third step of course is really more as to say it's okay to still have obsessive thoughts about wanting to be thin about losing weight about dieting and all these limiting beliefs around recovery food and dieting and this isn't to say that yeah it's okay to have them so just act on them that's not what i'm saying at all all I'm saying is that these thoughts are completely normal because a lifetime of wanting to lose weight and look a certain way and all these and all these beliefs that we've conditioned ourselves to, to think and to believe on is not just gonna go away overnight. It doesn't work like that. The key here is to simply just be aware. The power and the transformation comes in being aware and the awareness and separating this and disidentifying yourself with the eating disorder with the negative thoughts and the negative beliefs. So instead of acting, or reacting to them and trying to get rid of them you're actually just stepping aside and realizing okay this is the eating disorder this is not me this is the eating disorder and you just keep taking action and you keep moving forward it's not so much about trying to change the negative beliefs or trying to get rid of them it's more about working around them 
and continuing with your day no matter what. I do think an amazing action step that you can actually start doing right now is to literally write down every single negative belief, thought, uh, everything that the eating disorder is telling you things like I am going to be fat and risible for the rest of my life I'm never gonna stop gaining weight I'm never gonna stop binge eating whatever it is write it down as, and as painful as it is to write down just write it down and then uh, you will begin to see as you're reading it the eating disorder for what it really is after you write down all of the negative beliefs thoughts emotions everything that the eating disorder is telling you begin to write down a list of all of the affirmations and new beliefs and new stories you want to start telling yourself so and so as you see the eating disorder for what it is that's where you begin to write your new stories your new beliefs and your new affirmations things like i will recover because others have recovered i have completely recovered for me my my affirmation was i have completely recovered or I have recovered I put in the past tense but literally write down the affirmations all the new stories and beliefs that you um, are deciding from this day forward that you are going to believe and then repeat those as much as possible and it takes time again it doesn't happen overnight but the more that you stay with it and the more that you repeat the new stories the better luck that you're going to have I have an amazing video um, um, inspired by the book it works the magic little red book that makes all your dreams come true it's a powerful affirmation exercise that you can begin doing um, today um, to really start bringing in the new stories important thing here is it will take time just keep taking action keep repeating the new stories and new beliefs and never ever ever give up show up every single day and with time the recovery is gonna happen in the background and you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, wow. But if you feel like you're still stuck or there's just something that's not clicking for you or that there's something that maybe is blocking or is getting in your way, then definitely hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making a video about gonna find the things that are slowing down your recovery and the ways that you can speed it up. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. It's coming very soon. In the meanwhile, I would definitely encourage you guys to watch that two-part video series, How to Find keeps with your larger body as well as my video the top five eating disorder recovery mistakes that I made those are somewhere on the screen and until then have an amazing fabulous week and we will see each other on the next one ciao